Hello everyone, and welcome back to the workshop tutorial series. My name is Equinox Doodles, and I apologize for the long wait. I know this is a rather short video compared to the other tutorials, but today we're just going to be touching on something rather simple, as I have a lot of projects that I need to attend to at the moment compared to what I wish I could. So today we're going to be talking about hitbox groups. Hitbox groups are basically a way for an attack to hit multiple times. This would be your jab 1, 2, 3, your spinny nares, that sort of thing. If you are pressing an attack or your attack has multiple hitboxes that are supposed to interact differently, then that's what hitbox groups are supposed to do. Guadua has three hitbox group moves. We have back air, up air, and jab. Most characters should have jab as their one hitbox group move. So if you're following along with this and your character has a multi-hit move of some kind, this will be very easy for you. So let's get Rano up onto this platform real quick. There we go. Without hitbox groups, you'll see that up air doesn't connect for the second hit, even though it should. That is because in the actual code of the game, because you didn't specify hitbox groups, to the game itself, that one hitbox for up air is the only hitbox that needs to be registered by the player as getting hit. So to fix that, we have to go into hitbox groups. So you should have your code pulled up. In this case, we have up air. And what we're going to do is simply find our first hitbox and do set hitbox value, followed by parentheses, the attack name, comma, the hitbox number, comma, hg underscore hitbox group. Comma, followed by whatever you want to input. Usually, you want to break it down by numbers, but there is a limit. However, in most cases, you don't need to do this for the very first hitbox. But if the hitbox just so happens to have another hitbox on top of it, let's say, for example, your jab, for whatever reason, has two hitboxes. Your jab one has two hitboxes. That is when you would want to do HG hitbox group one and one. But for organizational purposes, I prefer to do it this way. Next, we're going to copy that, scroll down to the second hitbox down here, enter, paste it in, and replace our ones with twos. Save, and let's go back into the game and see what happened. You can press F5 to refresh your character. So now all we have to do is just... There we go. As you can see, up air now hits both times. Go ahead and do this for back air as well, as it's relatively simple. Now that you understand hitbox groups, now we're going to talk about cancel frames. Cancel frames are the ways that jab tends to work. As you can see, there is end lag on jab 1 and jab 2 in terms of its animation. But when you cancel, you don't see that. So how do we get around that? So let's open up our jab in our GM edit. As you can see here, we have broken it down into the comments. So we're looking for our recovery window. In this case, it's three, it tends to be three. And you want to add set window value, the attack name, the number of the window, in this case, three, the ag underscore window underscore cancel underscore type. This index basically determines how the actual window will be canceled. One makes it so that if you press attack, the window will be canceled. Two makes it so special will cancel the window into the next window down here. Finally is ag underscore window underscore cancel underscore frame under here. This is the frame of the attack that you are allowed to actually input this little attack here, this attack press, and go into the next window. If you, for whatever reason, notice that it is automatically going through to the next window because of the cancel frame, that is because of the six frame buffer that Rivals of Ether has. So what we can do to fix that is to go into our attack update and check for the fourth window and just clear the attack press button. 
what that does is basically say, all right, I pressed attack here because this is only a two frame window. It's just going to clear the buffer for attack for two frames. So that way it will automatically be a, another attack press to get into Jap 3. You shouldn't really have to do this in most cases, but in the event that you do, that is how you solve the issue. But hitboxes for jab are the exact same way. As you can see, if I scroll down here, hitbox group. And I broke it down into one, two, and three. So now that you understand how cancel frames work and how hitbox groups work, go ahead and do bear. I want to see how that goes for you, and maybe you can mess around and see if it has a unique utility that you want to add to the character. Thank you for listening to this very short tutorial. I hope that we can continue in the near future, as I do have a lot of projects I need to touch on. But next time we come back, I really want to touch on projectiles and how they work, because that is a whole other story. With that being said, happy modding!